iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to iTeach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to install a print server on 2003 server. All right, let's go ahead and go add a roll. We're gonna go to next. Go ahead and click on print server. I want to go ahead and just put it for XP client machines only. Um, go ahead and click on this if you want Windows 7 and all that. But right now I'm only going to have an XP on here. So go ahead and add the printer. I want to go ahead and unclick this and, and make sure this is clicked. You want to go ahead and create a port. We're going to do a standard TCP IP. All right, here we want to go ahead and put the printer's IP address. Right here, you can name the port if you want to, so make it easy so you remember what it is. But I'm not going to name it. All right, you can choose different options here, but I always go with just a generic network card. All right, this is where we pick the drivers. If you have a disk with the drivers on it, go ahead and pop it in. If you don't have the drivers, you're just going to have to download it from the, their company's website. They usually have all the drivers for any printer or search online for it. Uh, once you have the driver, you can go ahead and click here. You can go ahead and, and click what, what drive the, the CDs in, or you can browse and find it on your computer. So wherever you have it on a thumb drive or wherever you installed it. So we go ahead and go out of here. Or you can come in here and sometimes they have a driver in here, but most likely they won't have it. Well, we can go ahead and click on this. I'm just going to pick this one. This may come up for you or not, but you can just go ahead and keep existing one or just click to say you want that driver. All right, we're going to go ahead and delete this. Now, name, you got to name it something you can remember. Make it easy for your users to remember the printer's name. Like, if your printer's blue, call it blue. Or if you pick, or you have only a, one big copy, call it big copier. Or printer in the, the break room, call it whatever you want. I'm going to just call this one blue. We're going to go ahead and share. You can even add a location if you want to, but I'm not going to add one. You can do a print test. I'm selling no, don't do a print test. Let's go ahead and press finish. All right, press cancel and go to finish. All right, we're about to go on our client machine, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a printer. All right, back on our client machine. We're going to go ahead and log in as a user. Um, If you already logged in, you're going to go ahead and have to log off. Because some you will be not be able to get the right permissions, so we go ahead and log off, and then log log back in. All right, when you come in, you can go ahead and go to start printers. Notice that it's not there, and the reason why it's not there because I don't have any scripts running through GPO to push the printer there. But the easy way, since we already have the printer on a print server, we go to start. And go to run. All right, when you get here, we're going to go hack hack. You can put the IP address of your server, or you can put your server name. So I'm going to go ahead and put my service IP address in here. And 
and then you do another hack and then you put the name of the printer and since it's blue right there we're going to put blue and you press enter and there you have it the printer is right there um it's so much more easier than going to add printer and then picking a the driver and everything on each computer um to make it even more simpler we can add a script in the gpo to push it to all users and not ou i have a tutorial on gpo to show you how to push scripts to ou's and all the users uh watch that tutorial you successfully installed a print server i'm your host rashad thanks for watching